came in at the same time, and, you know, for him to just go out there and to get his feet, to get his feet, you know, wet on the field and stuff like that, and see how it feels. He's played on, he's played in December before, he's played in games, but, like, to actually fill that role that this can be, be the team that you can lead to another national championship was just something that I, could, I felt deep down the side as a teammate of his. And just to watch him play, even though he had a couple of miss or something, you know, all, all quarterbacks going to have it. Each player going to have it, no matter what position. But just to see him go out there and still perform uh, at, a, at, a, at a, I would say, at a high level, at a high level with just minimal mistakes, it was great to just watch him, Gunner, and uh, uh, Brock go out there. Oops, sorry, my bad. Him, Gunner, him, Gunner, and Brock go out there and just perform and just, you know, kind of get a couple of stats in the board. We're definitely going to go watch that in the film. It's going to be fun. Game ball? Um, uh, Makami is definitely 100%. Um, I, I didn't see nobody give out the ball, but if anybody would get the ball, it would have been Makami. He's just a great performer. He's going to eat off the floor every time. We need him to. He's going to go out there and perform at, at the highest level. And how can we do that here? I know you're not always out there on third down, but what makes you all so dangerous in third down? I think they start down oh, over nine on third That's easy. Uh, fresh bodies. That's what makes us dangerous on third down. And, uh, you know, if if Kirby can go and trust the guys like me, uh, Chanel Walthour and uh, Zion Lowe, go out there and for, win first, second down, we can get some fresh bodies on the field. We can get Gabe Harris. We can get we can get Chaz Chambliss. We can get uh, Tyrone Dawkins, guys who are, like, special, specialists at rushing the pass. And so we can get fresh bodies on the field. That's that's the you know, best thing that can ever happen for our defense. And, um, you know, last year, we, you know, remember the Tennessee game, we were getting off the field. Uh, three and out, and our third down package was helping us get you know three and outs as well. So just having fresh bodies on the field is something that we we allow, love to have on our defensive wise, on our defensive line wise. Just to get guys that because you having a fresh body on the field, it's, it's 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 easier to just go out there and run fast on one or two plays, or maybe just one play against the offensive line who's been there in the whole game. So getting those guys on and off the field, subbing in guys is something that we, you know, we like to do. Jordan Hall got out there pretty early as well. What have you seen from him early on that has him getting reps so early? In um, fall camp, you know, just him going out there. Like, it's been plays, it's been practices where Coach Scott has had him play 20-some snaps, 27 snaps per practice, around like eight snaps per rack. And, you know, just him, nor just Coach Scott normalizing all those plays in a row as a freshman he is now made it easier for him to put him in games like this because of the improvement that he's seen over fall camp over the spring and for him to be in you know uh in a game like i like tonight just going out there and playing is something normal that we something normal that we've seen since spring and fall so to see him go out there and just perform is something that we see all the time and he did a great job today. Appreciate it. any quarterback making his first starts going to be in the spotlight when you're following a guy who's just won two national championships What's the, what do you think that pressure is like? And do you think he's the kind of guy that can I feel like I feel like it's two things. One is that you got to feel you got to feel some big shoes. And, you know, Stetson Ben doesn't wear a big too big of a shoe. He probably wears like a size maybe eight, maybe. But uh, that's one. And then two is just trying like trying to learn your teammates and lead in the team. As as a quarterback, everyone is always looking for a leader. And obviously last year, uh, everyone was looking at Stetson Bennett and he took us in that championship. We're not we're expecting a lot from Carson, but we're not gonna pressure him because we're we're his teammates. We're just gonna love him. It doesn't matter if he's gonna make mistakes on the field. All we're always gonna support him in the ways we can. And uh, I feel like you know tonight was just him getting his feet wet at the beginning of the season. Like I said uh, in the last interview, just him getting his feet wet, getting warmed up, just getting a feel for it. Come out here and play. Uh, he had a decent performance, especially for the first game. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna look back at what he could have did better and this and that. And I feel like Carson's gonna take us all the way. So. Michael Williams, you know, we're used to him playing a lot on the edge, but he's wearing on the inside, he can have that sack on the inside. I mean, what, do you, what can you see with his versatility and ability? Michael, Michael is just a baby Trayvon Walker. And, you know, we had Trayvon on the sideline, and we were talking, and uh, they were just talking to each other, so I walked up to him, interrupted the conversation, and I said, big bro, little bro. I'm like, this is your little bro right here. Obviously, y'all got the same, y'all got the, the similar body build. And then Michael just showed a great impression. Last season, he had around six sacks. And you know, starting this season, he could have he could have double digit sacks this year. He could make a big impact on the team. And with just him coming off that little toe surgery, you know, see him going out there and making a sack on the first week, it's just something we, I like to see. Him. It's like you know, if I can go out there and play on the field with him and trust him, I just know that he's gonna help us the team a lot throughout the whole season. But like you guys get the pressure all day today, but I mean, you also look at the secondary. I mean, Alec Hyde, Javon, wow. Tyke, they're flying around the field. Yeah, all of our all of our D 
TV and secondary group, they all had five plus tackles, single, single tackles, and they were locking stuff up tonight. And you know, like I was saying in the other interview, it's just the standard. You know, we've got to do this at practice every day. So to see them go out there and do it against BT Martin, it was something that we see normally. So it's like big plays that we see that you know they do. Like we celebrate, but it's like it's like expected. It's expected. So it's like these guys gonna go out there and work, and that's always something that we expect. Of them. And I, what do you say to that dynamic between the two of you? I mean, you shut them out the whole, all of third quarter, and you know they get one right at the end. But I mean, you guys kept them off. off the board. Well, you know, it is. Um, you know, shout outs to them. You know, getting a touchdown. Matt, actually, just shout out to them, just staying with us throughout the whole game. Um, they have a good team. They probably just gonna win. Their, they're probably gonna win their conference. Um, but like for like the standard here at Georgia, it's a you know. We always gotta win the line of scrimmage. We didn't win tonight. 160, 140 yards was the standard for us. But like I said, that's okay. But we're gonna set the standard. So that means no one in our end zone, bad balls, anything we get to win a game, we're gonna do it. And you know, we did it to UT Martin tonight, but they still went out there and busted their bus. You know, how important is that dynamic between the two of you? You can, I mean, they can help you get coverage sacks. You can help them take some pressure off of them if they run some weird concepts. It's very, it's very important. You know, it's only going to take us further than us. Uh, it's going to take us further than we want to be. Um, that could be NC Championship playoffs because if we're getting pressure up on, a, on the QB and making their job easier, they only got covered for like maybe two seconds. And if they're covering longer than we can get up to the field, that's helping us out as deep the line the rest of QB. You know, obviously the last two games of the season, we weren't really uh, uh, good. Last game of the last season, we weren't really too good at trying to rush QB. That's something we're going to work on. But uh, I feel like our secondaries, they're going to be great this year because we have a lot of expectations. Pass rushing wise.